I would be happy to recommend Ignition to anyone who's looking at uh, you know, deploying products uh, for people. Uh, it, it is such a, uh, a versatile tool and it, it almost seems too good to be true in, in some ways with the multiple operating systems, the connectivity, the price point, the support. All I can say is it's all true. It's a great product. picturesque city surrounded by water, hills, and some challenging topography, a place where we have 3,000 plus grinder stations and no effective way to communicate that they're in distress, that they're overflowing, that they're going to have a, a potentially negative impact on our environment. Our reputation as a consulting engineering firm is really on the line when we go out and, and evaluate a product and, and begin to recommend that to folks based on, on their needs. Uh, it's nice to have a product that can be used across multiple industries as we see in the consulting engineering environment. So for us to be able to use this product cross-platform or cross-industry uh, in just about any environment it helps us support our customers well developed a great working relationship uh, with the City of Hot Springs and their staff. It's been, a, it's been a great partnership. For, a, for an area this size, we have a lot of treatment plants just because of the, the rugged terrain and, the, and the, uh, the area that we're in. Our skater master plan needed to take all of those things into account uh, and, and come up with a plan and a, and a budget. And it was about uh, that time that we began to look seriously at installing the radio backbones, which was a 900 megahertz uh, licensed frequency system uh, and the first remote site uh, to bring data back uh, through the repeater back to uh, one of the first water plants. So we had all of the hardware and all of the software systems in place that we needed to now really build out the system. At this time, the city decided to uh, invest in an advanced metering infrastructure system uh, that would provide um, radio-based water meters for all 30,000 customers in the city. Uh, it was an over $8 million investment. And so as we were looking at deploying uh, SCADA and RTUs around the city, they, they came to us and asked, is there any way we can use uh, some of our AMI infrastructure for, for some of these uh, sites, since we have so many of them? Particularly the 3,000 grinder lift stations with a traditional RTU, um, that could have cost millions of dollars. Basically, we found a way to repurpose one of their electric meters and we were able to get those uh, installed at a significantly reduced cost from, uh, from a traditional RTU. And then the next unique thing that Brown Engineers did, we were able to provide um, the database programming and the screen development to uh, show the, all the alerts on their city, citywide GIS map and deliver email-based alerts to their city staff to begin to track uh, this system. It's the first time they've ever been able to see uh, all of their sites remotely. We're gonna be able to bring all of this data from all over the city, all of their facilities, into uh, the ignition gateways at the main sites. And really for the first time, the city staff, the managers, the engineers, the supervisors, everyone is going to have access to all of their facility data. We were able to submit that project uh, to the American Council of Engineering Companies, uh, ACEC of Arkansas, and uh, won not only the Technology Category Award, but also across all of the awards that evening, uh, won the Grand Conceptor Award uh, for saving the city of Hot Springs of several million dollars in that project. So it was really, really great that, uh, to get recognized for uh, the good work and the great partnership that we've had with the city to, to develop that.